Hi! Thank you so much for watching my channel today. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe to my page. Let's jump right in. So excited. Yesterday I got Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Collection at Sephora in Atlanta. I am in love with it. Love the foundation. Um, definitely keep watching so that you can see how I apply it. I'm wearing it now, shade 420. Absolutely love it. Rihanna's Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Love this product. Take a good look because I think this is going to be a very popular foundation. So what I like about it, very lightweight on the skin. Don't really feel like I have a makeup on, but it's giving me a nice coverage and evening out my skin tone. Straight off of Sephora's website, this is some things I think you need to know. So it really is for all skin types. Oily, sensitive, dry, normal combination. Um, anyone that just wants something that is going to mimic a skin-like feel. The finish is matte. What is it? A soft matte long wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage in a boundary breaking range of shades. So what that means is that there's 40 shades in this collection. Both spectrums of the foundation world are going to be touched by this from a very light range to very deep skin tone. Very excited to keep looking online and seeing pictures and seeing actual real women wearing this. A lot of my friends purchased it yesterday, so I'm going to show you some pictures of them on my Instagram. Make sure to follow SD Jessica on Instagram and also connect with me on Facebook and you can send me messages that way too. And of course, if you have any comments, leave them below. Really looking forward to what you guys think. So, a big part about what why Rihanna created this collection is because she wanted to fill the void of sometimes everyone not having a perfect shade of foundation, which I think is awesome. She tested this on a lot of real women and got feedback from real makeup artists about what they look for in a foundation. And I absolutely love that. So, um, if you go onto Sephora's website, you can thumbnail through and see all the different shades. Big piece about this is Fenty Beauty is 100% cruelty free. Amazing, love that. It's a big part about why I purchased it yesterday. So let's jump right into it. Love the packaging. Sleek, beautiful, does feel very high end. It has a pump on it. Everyone wants a pump. Gives you a nice amount of foundation. And you can see that a little bit runny for a matte foundation, but once I apply it, I'm really looking forward to see how it goes on. Keep watching if you want to see the beautiful makeup look on me. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm going to definitely pump a few pumps on here. Get it going. Color looks good. A little bit runny for a matte foundation, but that's okay. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder brush. This is what I always use. And I'm going to apply this all over. I do see how it is matte because it's starting to dry down on my hands. So let's see how this looks. Color is definitely a good color. I'm starting to lose a little bit of my tan, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. However, this is still a good color. So let's see how this does. I'm going to do a pretty light coverage. I will build it. I will take some pictures throughout the day and post it on my social media. A lot of my friends purchase the foundation and the makeup, so I'm going to get some pictures of them as well so you can see a variety of skin tones and shades. I got two other products from the Fenty Beauty Collection. The Rihanna Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. Love this. I was watching this on Instagram and saw so many fun uses for this. And I got the portable highlighter brush. Now, I noticed that when I travel, I have like way too many large things. So the fact that this little buddy is so portable, I love it. So you literally pop it off and screw it up like that. And it's a little brush. So cool, so neat, so compact. I saw Rihanna's makeup artist using this as an eyeshadow, so I'm going to try that out too. I got the Ginger Binge Moscow Mule Highlighter. Let's open this up and see. 
very nice. Could definitely see how this could be an eyeshadow and a highlighter. I love that. Let's see how this looks going on. I'm going to use a little bit right there. Ooh, very pretty. I can see how this would be very good for a nighttime look. Does seem like a lot of highlighter going on. Not sure how I feel about that. I do like the compactness of this little guy, so I definitely would use that. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to use this as a little bit of an eyeshadow. Let's see how that works. Gonna just use a nice fluffy blending brush and put this all over. I definitely think I would love this as an eyeshadow versus a highlighter. Thanks so much for watching today. I really want to encourage everyone to definitely give Rihanna's makeup line a true chance. As a woman of color, I think it's really important and super impressive that she focused so much on creating 40 different shades to speak to everyone across a broad spectrum. So, definitely check it out. See what you like. Give it a chance. I'm going to say this. Think of the foundation as a definite thing to purchase. Sometimes the other products, like tools, I always don't buy. But I do like the fact that the little highlighter brush is compact and um, great to travel with. I was reading a lot of articles online this morning. And a lot of women connected with Rihanna's makeup. She's such an inspiration to me. She's like my mom. She's so genuine. And I think that she really makes you feel great it makes you feel beautiful her music is amazing and I would wouldn't expect anything but amazing for her makeup collection so definitely go to Sephora pick it up see what you think drop me a comment below and tell me what some of your first impressions are my first impression is that this foundation may be one of my new favorites thanks so much if you liked what you saw today hit the like button and subscribe